welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelly. Are you tired of searching winter lookbooks on YouTube and only seeing the Southern California baddies and their sandals and cardigans? I am too. And that's why for today's video, I'll be showing you outfits that you can actually wear when it's cold outside without freezing your piggies off. I made these outfits for Midwestern winters, but if you live in like Alaska or Planet Hoth, this might not suffice for you, but you will definitely be warm. And I know we're already approaching March, but it's still pretty chilly billy up here in the mitten. In my recent fall lookbook, I only gave you guys eight outfits, but today I'm giving you even more. I prepared 10 fabulous outfits for all of you baddies with different aesthetics, so this video is for everyone. And I'll be sure to tell you guys where everything is from, but I will not be linking it because most of it is secondhand or thrifted. But before we get started, I do have to plug my Instagram at kel.sharp because I post pretty much the same stuff over there, but a lot more frequently. And without any further ado, let's get into the lookbook and say hello to voiceover Kelly! Well thank you so much Intro Kelly, and now I'm gonna start off this video with a base outfit that will be, well, the base of every outfit. Layering in the colder months is crucial my dudes, so don't be scared to add more warmth to your fit. Throughout middle and high school, I thought it was cool to not wear winter gear and to shiver throughout the day. Why? I could not tell you. But fortunately, now that I've aged and grew a proper noggin, I now know that it is in fact cool to be warm. And by the way, I would have 100% added gloves and thicker socks to these outfits, but I'm kind of glad I didn't because by the third outfit, I was hotter than Anakin in the fiery pits of Mustafar. And before we start, can we please take a moment for my hair? Because I kind of really hated it at first because the blue was supposed to be a nice forced green that blended into the neon. But hey, it's growing on me. Literally. For the first winter look, I decided to go on a cozier, more grandma chic slash playful route with this beautiful set of overalls that I thrifted a few years back. I paired them with the lovely pink sweatshirt that everyone and their mama seems to own, along with the turtleneck underneath that perfectly matches my pink chunky grandma feelas. A very important addition to any winter outfit is a hat, hood, or headband. I chose this white fluffy headband that covers my ears and keeps out the cold. Everyone say bye, Olive! Safe travels! But here's a fun money-saving hack. If you have small stompers like me, buy your kicks in the kids' shoe section and you will save yourself a ton of money. I really love how this outfit turned out and with my pigtails, it just reminds me of something that I would have worn when I was a wee lass. And maybe that would be a cool lookbook idea. Recreating outfits from my childhood. Is that something you guys would be interested in? Let me know down below. You might recognize these overalls from my mending reel I made a while back, where I hand sewed the waistband and I added a super cute mushroom patch from another Michigan-based brand, Luna & Violet. By the way, these pockets are big enough to fit a baguette in. This second outfit probably has to be one of my favorites. If you are not aware, I quite enjoy the 60s and 70s aesthetic, but adding jewel tones on top of that is just chef's kiss. I started off this fit with these vibrant blue painter's pants along with my favorite corduroy jacket. Underneath that, I wore a green cable knit sweater and a turtleneck underneath. To add more warmth to my outfit, I wore these little purple earmuffs that I've had since the dawn of time, a gorgeously groovy thrifted scarf, and some ankle boots. You might have noticed that I'm pairing face masks to these fits in the lookbook. That's because they really help to trap in heat and to keep your face warm, and they save lives, so you get the best of both worlds. This outfit kept me quite toasty, but like I mentioned before, don't forget gloves or mittens because you gotta keep those grubby little fingers nice and warm. And quick mention about my base outfit, underneath that I'm wearing biker short length underwear to cover even more surface area and to keep me an eensy bit more warm. Hello Olive! But yeah, I'm also wearing knee high socks to cover my calves because you can really never be too safe when it's cold. But yeah, I love this outfit because it's giving groovy grandpa and that slays. This next outfit I truly love, and if you love cats, then you will too. TBH, I was quite ready to hype up these Oboe's hiking boots because they plant trees for every purchase. But after further research, I found out that they use animal fats in their adhesives. So, ew! But anywho, here's the third outfit. Meow! 
You might recognize this cat-tastic jacket from my recent thrifting haul. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen it. This jacket has so many beautiful warm tones in it, so I knew I had to pair it with these brown lounge pants and cream-colored headband. If you look at the clothes back behind me, you'll notice a light blue turtleneck, and I was supposed to wear that for this outfit and for a few different looks as well, but my room was so toasty and I was not at all in the mood to constantly change my top. So you can use your imagination. And while you're here, subscribe for more olive and sustainable living because yes, yes. And now we are approaching the fourth look, an RIP to my braided hairstyle, but honestly, I'm not sure why I did that for this type of video. But guys, you better take a seat and get ready for a mix of Bratz and Hello Kitty. Because wham bam, yes ma'am, literally every piece in this outfit has the right amount of cunty sassy class, and I am here for it. From the leopard pants to the white boots, I started this look with my Hello Kitty beret from way back in my childhood, and I matched that to this absolutely dazzling faux fur coat that my sister thrifted for me. Under that, I wore a black and pink striped pullover that matches my secondhand Betsy Johnson Trolls World Tour purse, and yes, you heard that right. And now, onto outfit number five. For this next look, I wanted to have an all black moment, but unfortunately, I lost my black turtleneck a while back and I don't even know how that happened. But luckily, I found this dark gray and white striped top that worked perfectly instead. I forgot to pick up the black beanie on that little table as well, but honestly, this outfit serves without it. And not to sound like a broken record, but most of these pieces were featured in my recent video where I do a not so little thrifting haul, and I'll link that down below as well. But oh my god guys, isn't this outfit just such a moment? I feel like this could be a street style version of the black mamba. I stuck with the leather look and paired that with my pleather chain bag and shiny black boots, black jeans, and chunky glasses. A little disclaimer, I got this bad boy at the thrift store and we do not promote first-hand animal products on this channel. For outfit number 6, we are going to the ski resorts, my dudes. I'm totally kidding though, I only know how to go sledding. But you can never go wrong with pink, so I built this look off of this super cozy and fuzzy pullover that matches my pink, chunky grandma shoes and headband. To continue the cozy and comfortable vibe, I wore these brown lounge pants, a floral mini backpack purse, and a pair of chunky dual colored sunglasses. That truly completes this 90s ski resort look. This next outfit might just be my favorite, probably because of the cozy vibe and jewel tones. Does anyone else go ham and cheese for those beautiful colors too, or is it just me? Fun fact, this paisley mask was the first reusable mask that I bought back in 2020. I brought out the warm tones from the mask into my pullover top, beanie, bag, and boots. I then layered this gorgeous mossy green sweater on top with some simple black yoga pants. Did you guys know that the youngsters are now calling these flared leggings? I feel old. But now we are already onto outfit number 8, and oh my god guys, get ready because hey howdy hey, this outfit is gonna slay. Like, hello, yes, 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 it's giving western winter goodness. Starting with the star of the show, this lovely cowboy hat. I picked this up in the clearance section at the store called Altered State, and I thought they were cool because they donate to a bunch of amazing charities, but they only sell clothes for women, and the lack of inclusivity and transparency is really something on their website. But moving on and moving downwards, I wore this fluffy poncho and leopard flares that perfectly match my brown ankle boots and plaid scarf. Another element that really elevates a look is belts, so I added this gorgeous vintage braided belt that I thrifted and it goes so well with the look. And now onto outfit numero nueve. We're going back to black but with a dash of pink as well. I'm using that same striped zip up with the leather jacket for an edgy touch along with these fabulous black cargo pants. Along with the outfit, I definitely would have changed the shoes and or the hat because the multiple shades of pink are just kind of throwing me off. But speaking of the colors black and pink, let's talk about my mask. Black and Pink National is a prison abolitionist organization dedicated to abolishing the criminal punishment system and liberating LGBTQIA people and people living with HIV and AIDS who are affected by that system through advocacy, support, and organization. This video is not at all sponsored by this group, but they're just an amazing team of people doing incredible things, and I'll leave their link down below for you guys to check out. And last but not least, outfit number 10! The street style outfit is the epitome of my sister, and I've been slowly adapting this style, so I figured this would be a fabulous addition to this lookbook. 
I started this look off with this burgundy and navy pullover that perfectly paired with this oversized plaid scarf and beanie, which my sister actually gave to me for this video. I then brought back the black denim jeans and paired that with my black fans, and I finished off this very comfortable and extremely warm look with a navy mask. This is one of those outfits that you could wear an entire snowsuit underneath and nobody would even know, and honestly, those are the best types of winter outfits. If only I could go back and tell my grade school self about that. If you couldn't tell by my hand signals, this is the end of the video. But before you click out, if you liked any of the looks in this video, please be sure to give this video a like. And if you truly loved this video and would like to see more content from me in the future, please be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified of my next video. Thank you so much for watching till the end and I hope you have a beautiful day.